Welcome back. Now we take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at quranspeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, there is a, a saying that, that of the Prophet Muhammad that the Quran was revealed in seven different ways. Can you elaborate a little bit on, on this question? Or yes. rather answer? True. Um, it, nowadays, when, when we write a book, we write a book with its one version and then it's published widely. Uh, but uh, that's not always the case. You may have a UK version and a US version uh, because words are spelt differently in, in, in the UK than they are in, in America and Canada. Uh, and um, uh, sometimes the Canadian spelling agrees with the UK spelling and so we have different combinations. Uh, you can also have performances that are done differently. Um, a, a, a song may be, uh, you may have like a, a written transcript of the song, the lyrics, and yet the actual performance could actually be different on, on stage and different from one performance to the other. Now, in the case of the Quran, the Prophet peace be upon him was delivering this or orally and it had to be ingested by by his community and uh, many of them spoke uh, different varieties of the Arabic uh, language. Uh, so I in, in some ways it had to be translated from Arabic to Arabic um, before it gets from Arabic to English. So in that uh, context, the Prophet peace be upon him gave latitude to his companions to recite the Quran in a variety of Arabic dialects and also sometimes to uh, substitute meaning f uh, uh, for meaning uh, even within the same dialect, uh, thus allowing for the Quran's meaning to be understood and absorbed and applied very quickly so that people did not need to stumble over how precisely do we recite this because that was not the initial need. That is a need now because we need to know precisely what are the words before we start interpreting them in the wrong way. Um, uh, but in the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, people needed to know the meaning and the application first. And so there was more focus on that and less on the precise wording. So uh, it is reported that some of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, read the same thing, but uh, sometimes uh, in a different word order uh, and sometimes by substituting uh, a word with the same meaning, uh, uh, replacing a word from the uh, Quranic text as it was being recited by the Prophet, peace be upon him. So Dr. Shabir, how does that relate to the seven readings? Uh, the seven readings that we have now, even ten readings according to many scholars, uh, capture some of that variety that was allowed in the early days of the Quranic revelation. So we have like you can say one main text uh, and it's given to us in a variety of minor variations from one um, reading to another. Perfect. Thank you very much Dr. Shabir. You're welcome.